we have another cool story about spiders. This one shows some great illustration, illustration. So make sure your eyes are looking, your ears are listening. Spiders by Carolyn B. Otto. Cover, 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 back, cover, 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 back and spine, and spine and spine. Spiders live all over the world. Spiders live all around you. Spiders might live in a garden. They might live in your house. When you find a spider, it is better not to touch it. Some spiders bite, and most spiders have venom, but most spiders will not hurt you. So when you find a spider, just look at that spider closely. Spiders are very interesting. See, some, they all look so cool. Spiders can be big, but never as big as you are. Most spiders are small. Some are as tiny, so tiny, you can hardly see them. Some spiders are brown and hairy. Some are yellow. Some are green. Spiders come in many colors. There are lots of different kinds of spiders. Spiders have two main parts to their body. They have eight legs. Most spiders have eight eyes, too. But some spiders have six eyes, or four eyes, or two eyes. Some spiders live in dark caves and don't have eyes at all. All spiders make silk. Spiders use silk in different ways. Some spiders use silk to build their homes. This spider has a home under the ground. This spider has a home under water. Many spiders use silk to build webs. Different kinds of spiders build different kinds of webs. They build webs in different shapes. This web is called an orb web. That's the one we see a lot of. Orb is another word for circle. The spider who made it is waiting to catch a meal. It's amazing how they do each little strand. This spider has caught a grasshopper in her web. She wraps the grasshopper in threads of silk. The spider will eat the grasshopper later. Spiders often use silk to protect their eggs. There are many eggs in this egg sac, so there will be lots of baby spiders. This spider carries her babies on her back. The babies hold on tightly. They are not ready to leave their mother. Here's a picture of an egg sac. These baby spiders are ready to go. They spin a long thread of silk and the silk care helps carry them up into the air. The baby spiders will float in the air. Some babies will land nearby. Others will land much farther away. They will all begin new lives on their own. If you see a spider, remember to look and learn. Try to see what the spider is doing. Think about where that spider came from. It may have come from far away, floating on a thread of silk. So think about these words, boys and girls. Egg sac, silk, venom, and webs. And I want you to illustrate those and use those words in a sentence. I'll see you next time.